Who are you and what do you do at Crystal Commerce? Uh, my name is Joe Orton and I'm the Head of Admin and Operations here at Crystal Commerce. Hi, I'm Nick Amelia. I'm Manager of Platform Operations. My name is Katrina and I'm the Head of Creative Services. My name is Paul Martin. I am on the Member Success Team, which is our fancy term for support. My name is Sneaky and I'm the Head of Brand and Marketing Team. Hello, my name is Ryan Takazan and I'm the Sales Manager here at Crystal Commerce. My name is David. I am a product manager. I'm Darren Cunningham, and I am a uh, technical service representative working within the client experience department. Hey, my name is Dan. I'm the founder and CEO of Crystal Commerce. It's my pleasure to have started this business back in 2006. What is your proudest accomplishment at Crystal Commerce? My proudest accomplishment here um, isn't just one thing. It's a combination of helping small, medium to large businesses achieve their dreams. Um, of course, it's always about getting the sale and increasing foot traffic in the stores um, and helping you guys do that in any way we can. Um, so there really isn't one accomplishment. Um, if anything, is the continual endeavor of continually finding new ways to actually drive more traffic to your guys' stores um, inside the store and online, and then online back into the store. My proudest accomplishment here is helping to build the engineering team um, that we have today and continually trying to improve the engineering team to uh, better service you guys. Probably templates. When I was working in design, we wanted to make a product that was available for a lot cheaper, that was um, less custom but just as good as a custom website. Uh, and we spent some time researching and developing how we could do that and that resulted in the templates that are available now, Nori, Troa, and Expo. Um, and they're all much less expensive than a custom website and they are all, in my opinion, just as good. Uh, becoming the part, a part of the new leadership team, uh, it's a really exciting opportunity to bring more changes and improvements uh, for our processes and just uh, a lot of things that we want to do for the clients um, in the near future and long term. Uh, never giving up, <laughs> absolutely. Uh, I have to say that just because it, co it covers so many different things that have happened behind the scenes. Um, when the going gets tough, the tough get going or something along those lines. Uh, so it's like, what are you going to do about it? Um, you know, if with a system as, uh, let's just say complex as our legacy platform is, it's been just one uh, sort of emergency after another just to make sure that systems come back online and like today, everything is operating relatively well. Um, it's just, there's a lot of things behind the scenes that go into that. Um, the biggest accomplishment is definitely the establishment of a distributed and empowered leadership team. Because if I'm trying to route everything through me and my decision making personally, um, it means that I'm slowing the team down. And it also means that the team is not as accountable for the results, uh, which also is a really big impact to members. Because now the team is, and we're seeing the benefits of that right away. Uh, some of my proudest accomplishments is the creation of Crystal Members, a tool that allow our members to get the most up-to-date news from our developers as well as our support team, and uh, extending our support team hours to uh, seven days a week as well as extended hours. I purchased a new URL for my website and will be rebranding. Why does this require a database name change on Crystal Commerce's back end? It has to do with the way the DNS settings work. The database name in our system has to match up with your domain name. When we set up the DNS to point your domain name to us, it looks at whatever comes, after, comes before the .com part of your domain and looks for a match on our system for the database name. So when you're changing your URL, you also have to change the database name or that DNS connection won't work. The only reason you would need to get a database name change when you got a new domain is due to the database name not matching your domain name. Uh, this needs to match for the load balancer to know when they enter the domain name which website they need to take you to. I have orders in my admin that show a status of in checkout. How do I clear out these orders? For in checkout orders, it really depends on where it came from. If it came from your POS, deleting an in checkout order isn't really a big deal because it's just adding the inventory back in that was taken out. However, if it's an online or from your website uh, order, voiding those will add quantity in that was never taken out. Online orders don't take quantity out until the order has been actually placed, so in checkout orders hasn't taken any quantity out. 
So with in checkout orders, the only ones that you would want to clear out are your POS in checkout orders. In checkout orders from your direct website, which are basically just incomplete carts, you want to leave alone uh, because they aren't affecting your inventory numbers at all. So if you were to go through and avoid those, you'd end up adding inventory back into your system that was never taken out in the first place. For the POS in checkout orders, if you go to your account page and then go to the point of sale tab, there's a pref where you can set POS and checkout orders to automatically void after a certain number of days. Uh, because POS order orders uh, reduce the quantity right when you add the item to the order, your POS and checkout orders are actually holding the quantities within them. So it is good to clear those out if they haven't been completed and they're just orders that have been forgotten about. Whatever happened to the care basket that you guys were supposed to send us for the migration issues in October? So we put a lot of thought and work into the care package, and we wanted to make sure we gave you guys as much as possible without breaking the bank. Some of the things that we're now implementing are seven days a week support, as well as giving you guys social media assets for your social media accounts to improve the appearance and gather a little bit more sales. Additionally, a lot of the new products that we worked on in the last few years will now be offering out to you guys at no cost. Thank you to everyone for submitting your questions. To submit your question now, go ahead and send an email to marketing at crystalcommerce.com with the subject line Q&A sessions.